Hi folks, I'm Marcus Hardy, the Ag Tech Lead at the Tasmanian Institute of Agriculture. My name's Doug Clark, I'm farm manager at the Forsyth Vegetable Research Facility. Yeah, so we're a 54 hectare site, um, of which 36 hectares is cropped, and we do a mixture of commercial cropping, but also agricultural research. Yeah, so agriculture as a whole has really embraced the old gut feel, and some, some growers do that really well, and some growers not so well. Um, but I think with the data that we can generate from that, that then puts an informed decision in the grower's hands, and to try and do it as easily as you can. You, you don't want to go through a lot of hoops to get whatever data you need at your fingertips. So what smart farms consist of is essentially three components. Sensoring day-to-day -day activities and um, parts of the farm. So things like soil moisture, weather, tracking animals, uh, pump levels, dam levels, those types of things. And the second part is the communication, different forms of wireless communication, and then bringing all that data into one place on a dashboard to make all that information immediately available where and when a farmer wants it. I'd like to introduce the guys from Farm Pulse. I'm uh, Richard Gardner uh, from Farm Pulse. I'm a, um, I'm a dairy and sheep farmer from uh, the Midlands and I'm also very interested in uh, improving technology on farms. So my name's uh, James Walsh. Uh, I run a mixed farming operation um, near Epping Forest. So why did you create Farm Pulse? I'd been frustrated over a long period by not being able to get hold of uh, information that I wanted to out of the systems. So we're not aligned with any one product. Um, what sets us apart is our dashboards collate information from a number of sensor um, sources and so it's making decisions what sensors connect best to what systems. What information we can get in a presentable format that they want on their phone or on their computer and then um, you know, be able to look at that and easily see the information that they want. So it isn't necessarily about, for our customers, about tech. It's about information. So I think if we can automate that process, that gives us accurate information for whole, whole of industry within 24 hours. That's one of the ideal outcomes. Like if we can get that to happen, it's great. So guys, what's the process from here on? How do we go from being a normal, everyday farm to being a smart farm? It's assessing the need. Um, the interesting for our thing for us with the smart farms is balancing the need of the managers, which is day-to-day -day, uh, sort of stuff and the stuff that we're more familiar with, and then balancing the need of researchers as well. One of the things that we're concentrating on, I think particularly evident in uh, soil moisture monitoring, is um, going for a range of sensors that are both based on cost point. So you can go and get the gold standard, uh, for the research that is recognised and being used over the years versus what new technology is coming out at a more cost effective point. And what we're trying to do is create a system or a situation where you can have just the pieces of information you want for your purposes on one dashboard and bringing all, all the information streams into one place and so with one page, one shot, you can look at it and see everything you need to see. The power in the whole smart farm concept is in putting data in the hands of growers via the dashboards. Providing growers with useful, usable data where and when they need it to help them make better data-based decisions on their day-to-day -day farming activities. For me, the, the Douglas Adams quote, which is, we all want new technology, but what we really want is something that works. <laughs>